In this video, we'll be constructing the center of rotation between two figures. Note that the center of rotation is the fixed point about which a figure turns. So you can almost imagine kind of where my hand is here, that these triangles are rotating around it. And this construction is considered an application of the perpendicular bisector construction. And you'll see that I've noted here, we are going to use the perpendicular bisector construction two times. All right, to start off, I'm gonna rotate my paper a little bit here, and I'm going to pick any two points that correspond to one another. So let's say I pick these two, and I'm going to use my straight edge to connect. And basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do the perpendicular bisector of that line segment. My gold ring goes on one point on the compass and I'm gonna find something that's close to the other. Then I'm going to reverse that. And I have my two intersections and I'm gonna make a nice big line that connects those two intersections. All right, I'm gonna turn my paper right side up again for a moment. Now I basically wanna repeat this process, but I wanna do it with another pair of corresponding points. So I could pick these two, or I could pick these two. I like these two a little bit better. I like that they're a little closer together. And I like that these are going to intersect a little bit better, the two connecting line segments. So I'll show you what I mean by that. If I bold those so I can connect them nicely, I like how those two intersect. When we're doing this, we want to be really careful about what arcs we've already done. So remember, like this is our old arc, this is our old arc, and we're just creating two new ones. So repeat that process. We're doing the perpendicular bisector construction again. You can always go back to the video for perpendicular bisectors if you need a refresher on that. And now I'm looking for where did those two arcs intersect? So I can see one pretty clearly up here. Just be careful because now there's a lot of intersections at this point. Let's really trace what we're looking for. And we can see here's the other intersection. Okay, so don't rush that process. Now I'm going to use the straight edge or ruler to connect those points and again make a nice big line so let's recall what we're trying to do in this construction we're trying to construct the center of rotation it's basically the point where those two perpendicular bisectors cross one another so here's one perpendicular bisector here's the other one we're looking for where they cross which is right in here Okay, so there's a lot of intersections in here, but we're looking for where those two perpendicular bisectors actually crossed, and that is your center of rotation.